In this video, I'm going to discuss the Holden Commodore timing chain issue that we've had. I'll give you an update on the current happenings around what's going on with uh, this car. So in a previous video, I discussed that we're going to keep this Commodore and we're going to run it into the ground <laughs> as far as it goes. Uh, it's still going, no problems at all. So now it's uh, the end of 2020, 2020, see you later. The Commodore's still running. Uh, what can I say? It's... Um, it's absolutely no difference to the last video that I've made. There has been a couple of little differences in terms of the timing chain, however, so let me explain. Okay, you can see here, everybody, it's got 252,000 Ks now, and the warning has been coming on since about 160,000 Ks. 170,000 was the first time we received that uh, timing chain warning on bank one, whatever that code is. And last video, I mentioned that the little warning and let me just show you what I'm talking about yeah there it is that little engine sign there that little engine warning doesn't go away and you get a check engine come up at 252,000 that is now constant so last video it was intermittent it was uh, coming on and off and we could clear it now I can no longer clear it so that engine warning that uh, error code is now continually up on the dash it's been the only real difference from the last update the car still runs fine everything is great there's been nothing that has actually changed in terms of how the car drives how it performs the fuel economy is the same everything's identical the one thing i did do is i had a quick look at the sensor position whether i can do something to the actual sensor um, so what i did is i had a look uh, where the sensors were i pulled them out i had a quick look at it i tried to clean it whether something might have you know been an issue with the actual sensor itself um it wasn't but um just put it back so yeah there's nothing i can do at that end i was thinking about maybe gapping the sensor so maybe putting in like a washer or something to see if i can um, increase or decrease the depth of that sensor and whether maybe that could make a bit of a difference the idea behind that was that maybe that gap is going to be larger and then maybe that's not going to set off the um the sensor right but uh, i didn't get there in the end because it kind of looked a little bit fiddly and i'm not sure whether i can um seal that um little plug well enough for, for it to work properly so i wasn't going to play around with that but i found them anyway and then i had a bit of a look at them and tried to clean them um cleaning them didn't make any difference so i tried to do a bit of sandpaper try to take the edge off it and stuff like that it, none of that worked um so yeah that's the only thing that i've actually tried so here we are 250,000 kilometers later still have yet to really hear someone snapping their timing chain uh there's been a couple of comments about the car going into a limp mode i'm not sure what that's about like uh a few of you have said that um you've had the car go into a limp mode before you had to um, take it to the mechanic and then you know take it back to the service center and um, have it looked at this car has not been in limp mode ever, so I'm not sure. Maybe that was like a real lengthening of the timing chain. Another thing a few people have commented on is that they're hearing like a rattling sound at the front of the engine um, when it happened. So, but there's been not many, like I said, there's maybe one or two people that have brought that up. Uh, there hasn't been, out of that, you know, that video's got I think 3,000 views now and only two people have mentioned a rattling sound before taking it uh, to the service center. Obviously this timing chain isn't that stretched because there's no sound like that, anyway, anything like that coming from the front. And the other thing that I can quickly comment on is that thanks to everyone who has replied to my last video, uh, there's a whole bunch of you that are doing exactly the same thing I am and that's running your car with that engine light on <laughs> and just dismissing that warning and running the car to the ground. So. If you're watching this, thank you very much for your comment. Um, it's great that, uh, you know, like a, the brotherhood of the timing chain issue. <laughs> so apart from that, this car's been going really well. I'm facing a little bit of a dilemma because we've just bought another brand new car. I'm not sure if you've seen the video, but uh, we bought a brand new Camry. And it's an amazing car. And I'm kind of a little bit jealous, to, to be honest, because it's it's beautiful drive and really nice car so i'm i'm kind of in two thoughts but like i did say i'm going to keep this car and we are going to keep it here's the dilemma at the moment i could probably sell this for let's just conservatively say four thousand dollars maybe a little bit more with the COVID tax but what would i replace it with for that money like what, what's a, what 
What would I replace this car with for for about five thousand bucks? Uh, so I think uh, <clears throat> you know from a, from a financial point of view, I think it makes sense to just keep it and keep running with it, and uh, yeah, hope for the best and hope that it just keeps on going. You know, I've got three kids. There's a little you can see the car seat there. They're ruining the car anyway. Like uh, in this car, they can still eat in here. They can have drinks in here. Um, you know, after gym, I can sit in the seat all sweaty and it makes no difference because we're not really looking after it like that. So another thing, just, uh, just uh, yesterday I uh, bought some timber and no hesitation whatsoever in just shoving it through and you can see it here. I don't know if you can see it. It's still a bit, a bit left over. And uh, you know, if it had accidentally pierced the fabric, I wouldn't care, just, I wouldn't care. Sorry, calm, sorry. Yeah, I wouldn't care. <laughs> so, um, and that's because it's, it's it's an older car. It's just one of those um, good utili utilitarian cars now. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. That's the 250,000 kilometer update, roughly. I'm gonna keep going and uh, give you another one and another one and another one. Uh, next one, I'll probably aim for about, let's say another 20,000 Ks, hey, at least. Let's see um, how far I get and let's see how this car develops its uh, little engine problem. But anyway, if you haven't su subscribed already, please do. It would be wonderful. Uh, the channel's growing, really loving the uh, support from you guys. And uh, I now have roughly three and a half percent of you coming back and watching my videos, which is huge because for a very long time, it sat at 0.7% of my subscribers actually coming back and watching. So thank you everyone for coming back and watching my other videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. And uh, yeah, and uh, I've got lots of quality content coming for you as per usual. <laughs> so that's it. All right. Thanks everyone. See ya.